name is Greg Mays. Uh, I'm a senior at UWGB. I play basketball there. Uh, and I just finished my senior season. I'm going to be a professional basketball player uh, in Europe next year. Uh, yeah, I got into basketball when probably when I was about three or four years old, ever since I could pick up a basketball. Uh, it was really my stepdad that got me into it. Uh, he's really, he's really like my, my real father. Uh, he got me into basketball. He's put me in uh, leagues as soon as I could, as soon as I was old enough. So that's how I got started. I actually played uh, baseball and I played football in high school. I actually could have played Division One football too, but I had to choose because my grades were slipping. So I had to choose between basketball and football. And I chose basketball, so I had to stop playing football my senior year. I play video games a lot, watch a lot of Netflix. Uh, <laughs> Green Bay is a pretty quiet place, so not really much to do. Uh, I just like to chill. I would have to say, I probably have two top ones is when we won the uh, conference championship last year, regular season conference championship. And then this year when I got all league was probably the best two moments. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was probably one of the highlights of my career. Probably uh, just because I worked so hard to get there, you know, I didn't. My my uh, last few years, I was kind of overshadowed by other players. So to get that recognition was good. My senior year, I had uh, 21 points in in a half at the Resh, and that was a record. Or 20? No, 26. I'm sorry. That was a record for most points scored in a half at the Resh. I tied it, and I ended up with 34 that game. Uh, it was fun. I got to travel, uh, see the country. I actually got to go to the Bahamas. Uh, so I got to travel other parts of the world. Uh, it was nice. It was a good experience. I mean, it was great, you know, coming from the same area, you know, in Chicago. And uh, it was just great, you know, just to have some guys, you know, I could kind of gel with right away when I got here. And I mean, Kiefer is a great leader. He's a great player to play with. He, he finds me on the court. So he makes my job a lot easier when I play with him. Um, that's, yeah, uh, what I'm looking at right now. Possibly getting drafted into the D-League, but that's probably on the back burner right now. I'm looking to go overseas right now. I mean, it might sound cliche, but hard work, uh, I mean, it pays off. You work at it, you can accomplish whatever you are working toward. I mean, that's the biggest thing is there's no way to get past that. You have to work at it, especially with athletics. Like, you have to work on your game to get good. That's the only way. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, at least, two hours a day, uh, at least. That's, and I mean, that doesn't count like uh, stretching and things like that, pool workouts, weight room. That's like on court stuff is usually about two hours a day in season, at least two hours a day, sometimes three or more. Uh, off season is a huge time for me uh, because I'm more of an instinctual player, not really a uh, you know, skill fundamental player. I'm, I'm more you know, out of the box, creative type of player. So working on things like that, skill work is really huge for me uh, out of season. So the, the off season is really the most important time for me. It's more important than the season really. It's when I can you know, work on my game, do what I want to work on what I really need to get better at. Like I said, hard work it pays <laughs> off. It pays off in the end. I mean, definitely paid off for me. When I came in, I mean, I wasn't playing at all as at my freshman year. And I worked my way up to being, you know, basically the second best player on the team. This the, this the second go-to guy on the team after our NBA point guard, Keeper Sykes. So, yeah. Yeah, worked my way to all league. So, definitely hard work was the only reason I got there. <laughs>